Hey y'all, welcome to September and I'm gonna start this thing off by drawing a ship in the sky. Start off by using any page to make borders because I'm starting off by using some sky blue. I added a little bit of yellow to show the sun streaming down. Halfway down the P, just started using a new shade of blue, which is lighter. This is what I used for my horizon, and subsequently, what is going to be the sky. out into this darker shade of blue that I used in my the above sort of patch of blue. So then I added streaks across the top portion, which is my ocean, and this is to represent the white caps on the waves. Just like in several of my previous pictures, I used the same sort of dabbing light motion to make clouds. And that is to make them super fluffy and a little bit wave-like, but not quite. I used mainly white, but also used some gray and black to make contrast in the clouds, as well as some other little streaks of blue and yellow to make them more realistic. So I moved the brush across the piece of paper with the sort of left to right, right to left motion, so making them, the clouds pile onto each other.
So I started then on the outline of the ship, or the hull of the ship, which is just dark brown for me, and then I used some black and white to make some highlights and lowlights on the hull. What I ended up making was basically almost a galleon type ship, which were armed merchant ships used between the 16th and 18th centuries. These ships had a tactical advantage in going downwind, so if the wind is blowing from sort of behind, then they have the optimal speed as their sails are mostly square, which allows them to capture as much wind as possible going downwind. On the other hand, on upwinds, they have a very large angle which they need to cover in order to actually go upwind. This makes it a lot harder to travel upwind. I then started doing the mast, which was basically a vertical line, and then a second vertical line right behind it. Then I started on the jib, which is the first sailing in the very front of the boat, which allows for better trimming when going upwind. So if the main sails, which are the big ones, are to allow the ship to go faster downwind, then these ones specifically are designed to allow the ship to head up more, so head up further into the wind. I then added some shadows so that the sail looked more 3D. So I outlined the inner side of the sail with some dark gray. I added the mainsails in almost a simple straight white line going right off of the mast. I ended up losing a bit of my recording, but it was fairly non-essential as all I did was add a little bit more detail to the sails and I put clouds over top the sort of bottom of the ship to make it look like it's actually plowing through the clouds. So this is sort of my end product here with the ship and the piled on clouds on top of it. I'm sorry that I lost that last little bit there, but honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory, hopefully. And also what's cool about this picture is that literally if you flip it upside down, it's also something and it looks kind of cool as well.
So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, yeah, have fun. Have a nice day.